hey everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is ari i'm a taurus sun cancer rising aquarius moon into life path number seven if you're not new here thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further it does mean a lot to me please make sure to like comment and subscribe before you do leave this video especially if you're able to relate or connect to this reading so today everyone i am here with a general love tarot reading for all of my virgos who are watching so if you have virgo as your sun moon rising venus or anywhere in your chart then this reading may resonate or apply to you so virgo in your reading today i will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is making its way towards you this energy may already be in your life currently virgo but before i do go ahead and officially begin and get started here please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign so it may or may not resonate for you specifically and if it does not virgo please don't take it personally but without further ado here first what we'll get started with are some tarot cards so we'll start with the tarot portion of your reading virgo let's see what energy we do have making its way towards virgo or the energy that virgo is dealing with currently please when it comes to love all right first card we do have is the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles for virgo let's see what else we have for virgo please with the knight of pentacles what other energy do we have going on all right so we'll take the first card i did see and it was the ten of pentacles in reverse ten of pentacles in reverse two of swords in reverse as well let's actually keep both of those cards virgo just in case let me go ahead and organize these we have the knight of pentacles upright ten of pentacles in reverse and the two of swords in reverse all right virgo can we please clarify further ten of pentacles and the two of swords in reverse for virgo why do we have these two significant energies here ace of pentacles in reverse ace of pentacles in reverse all right one more card please to clarify the energy that we do have thus far please and that is the page of pentacles okay so virgo a couple reversals a couple cards came out upright as well so far we have the knight of pentacles upright and earth energy significant earth energy ten of pentacles in reverse two of pentacles in reverse ace of pentacles in reverse and page of pentacles upright so i do feel like for some of my virgos you may be single or you may be distant from someone you were once very close to virgo I feel like you had to step away from what you wanted to happen, the ideal, the dream that you have between you and someone specifically. You you have to take away from the potential, the what ifs, compared to what is actually going down here. And with what was actually going down here, Virgo, there could have been stalling, things moving slow between you and this person, but to an extent that's normal because it takes time to get to where you want to be especially with another person so it's like you did not discount that fact virgo knight of pentacles energy things taking place slowly but surely but i feel like that energy turned into this person stalling or someone showing you this person showing you that they're what they're trying to build with you it may not be exactly what you want or they're not ready for that because ten of pentacles in reverse with the usual upright energy, Virgo, this is long-term stability, foundation, family life here. But I feel like this person showed you in some way, some form that they were not ready for this. So it could have been rocky between you two, Ten of Pentacles in reverse energy. And we also have that Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is reminding me of taking steps forward with one another, but then as soon as you take another step forward, you go backwards with them. So Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo. Two of Swords in reverse, I feel like you're not believing in the what could be what if. You want things to happen as of now. So that blindfold for you, Virgo, as far as making your decision for yourself, that may be off as of now. So Two of Swords in reverse, but we do have that Page of Pentacles upright. So something new that you're starting, Virgo. But let's see what else we need to know here. All right, let's see what else we need to know following the Page of Pentacles for Virgo. 
Okay, Eight of Swords, Virgo. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Let's clarify this energy, please, for my Virgos. Ten of Swords. So, so far we have air and earth energy. So, could be dealing with a air sign or another earth sign. So, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, we have the Ten of Swords as well for Virgo. Let's see what else we need to know here in regards to this energy, please. I think this is a Justice card. Justice in Reverse. Justice in Reverse, Virgo. Let's go ahead and pull one more card, please, for Virgo. Okay, Virgo. Seven of Swords. But the other card that did come out with that is the Five of Cups. So this may be an ending, Virgo, that you're coming across or that you're facing right now. I feel like you want the best with this person and for this person but it seems like you two are not in alignment with one another as i mentioned virgo it's like once you two start to take steps upwards you two go backwards with one another and you're not in it in this connection to play games or to have like even mind games maybe because i ate a swords energy that could stem or symbolize manipulation virgo i feel like it's it's become tense or tough and you you don't want the harmony between you two to feel like this so we have the eight of swords it's like once this person sees you're pulling away or that blindfold is off they may propose to you that new beginning that fresh start and then that that starts that cycle once again virgo but ten of swords it's like you may be at this point where you're like i'm ready to breathe out i'm ready to release everything i i don't want this energy to be weighing over my head i'm hoping that we could get through it together but as of now it seems like you're working against me you're not trying to see eye to eye with me and i feel like this person perhaps they're not thinking with your best interests at heart virgo they're thinking about themselves or they're not trying to make things fair with you and the with the justice card in reverse and sometimes, of course, only take what resonates for you, Virgo, but sometimes when we have to evaluate the people we're with, our surroundings, our environment, is it the best for us? Is it a distraction? Is something taking away or something or someone taking away from our ability to access more for ourselves? And Seven of Swords, Virgo, I, I don't feel like this is like... And of course, only take what resonates for you. I was going to say genuine here because it, it could be tricky because somebody could care for you, Virgo, but are they able to care for you and be there for you and support you in the proper way? And that doesn't mean that they can never do that, but sometimes it's just not the time. They have some things that they need to learn or go through on their own before they could really be the best person that they can be for you, but most importantly for themselves. So with the Seven of Swords energy, Virgo, I feel like this person does resurface. They do pop up, but with the reversals in the Pentacles energy, it's like this is still rocky. This is flighty here, Virgo. So I feel like you're moving forward with that Five of Cups energy, trying to release, trying to debrief what, what you've been through, what's on your mind here, Virgo. Let's go ahead and pull from the Situations Oracle card deck, please, from my Virgos. First, we do have Gossip, Petty, Jealousy, Envy. Of course, only take what resonates for you. We have Gossip. Another card, please, for Virgo. What other energy? We have History, Past, Happen. Could be a person of the past, or you two have some deep history with one another. Another card, please, for my Virgos. What else do we need to know? And that last card is love, adore, admire, enchantment. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and see what hidden truth oracle cards we do have for you in case there's any messages that may resonate. Any messages for my Virgos, please? All right, Virgo, so. Um, our first card does say we need to let each other go. I'm going to try to pick it up, Virgo. Okay, so it says we need to let each other go. It did fall. We need to let each other go. Another message, please, for my Virgos. The timing 
just wasn't right for us so as mentioned virgo this could be a person where you can only do so much but the rest is going to have to come from them one more card please for my virgos okay virgo and i don't react when people mention you that is our last message it did fall but i don't want to risk our setup already have something fall but it does say once again i don't react when people mention you so trying your best to move forward from this person virgo as far as signs we do have leo for virgo leo libra leo libra one more sign for my virgos please leo again and pisces all right, Virgo, of course, any sign may be applicable, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.